What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel Everyday Carry for Everyday Guy. Training with only 50 rounds. Those of you who follow my channel will know about two weeks ago I did a similar video where I outlined how I would train with only 50 rounds and I asked you guys do you want me to get the opinions of other people and higher level shooters than myself on what they would do with only 50 rounds and overwhelmingly people said yes. So I spoke to my good friend Adrian Barrows. Adrian Barrows is the head guy at Kinetic Solutions. To give you a brief history of who this person is, Adrian served with the military overseas, he served with the African Police Service, um, he was in charge of a presidential protection detail, he is an extremely high level shooter, he was the deputy director of the largest private security operation in Afghanistan. So. He is well trained and um, he's got a lot of experience. And I asked him what he recommends I do with 50 rounds. Now, the first thing he said that's different to my video is start cold, right? Don't do any warm up rounds, get in there, draw from concealment, and start cold. So, his first drill is 10 rounds from concealment but divided into two mags. So, you fire your first 10, do a reload, fire your second 10 one by one from concealment at 10 meters into a four inch circle. Now, for those of you who don't know what a four inch circle is, it's about 10.1 10, 10 centimeters in diameter. I kept all my targets so I can talk you through it. From cold, right, this is where we're at on that first one. As you can see, we've got three flyers. That is what it is. Um, this is, I think it was my first, second, and fourth shot, which these shots over here were, and the rest is all in here. I don't care about this, I don't care about my hits, I only care about my misses. So, that was the drill, and you'll notice something as we go on. So, the second drill is from concealment, draw and fire two shots, like a double tap. So that's five rounds that which equates to 10 rounds so we're on 20 rounds this is my target as you can see we have three uh misses again but i mean we're closer right you can see the grouping is getting a bit tighter which is interesting because as you can see the value of not warming up right remember i said that i would warm up and to be fair agent did say that if you don't shoot often that warm-up shots are, val are valuable and valid to um, reacquire your understanding of sight picture and sight alignment. But if you shoot often, you shoot from cold. And you'll notice a theme here, the more I shoot, kind of the more accurate I become, which makes you realize the value of not warming up so you can understand where you are in a real world um, um, sense. Most of us uh, in a real world situation probably be shooting from cold, you know, unless you walk out of the shooting range and uh, you need to draw your fire on. The third drill is a one reload, one from concealment as well as from a ready position. So you use, you're firing 10 rounds, so it's two shots, you get five rounds. So you can decide whether it's gonna be two from concealment and three from a ready or, or three from concealment and two from ready or four from concealment and one from ready, whatever the case may be. So these are my hits on that round, as I said, you're firing 10 shots. Um, there are a few misses over here, but as you can see, it's not we're not missing by, by miles. 
like we were, uh, come on, like we were in the beginning and arguably the drills are getting harder. Now drill number three is really important because you've got to be able to put multiple rounds on target, right? And with drill number four, we take it, <coughs> excuse me, a step further where you're firing you're from concealment, you're drawing and firing two shots at a target, then transitioning to another target, which is supposed to be another 10 meters away, either left or right inside. Now, I wasn't able to access the range big enough to allow for that. So all I did was I put it on a small on a target further back and used a smaller circle as my reference. Now that is for a total of 10 rounds, so we're on like 40 rounds now. And what you what you saw is basically the first two rounds, it's bang bang and then transition bang bang, bang bang and transition bang bang, so that counts to eight. And then the last one is just one shot in each. So this was my close target, which was at, it's actually a bit less than 10 meters for me because I can't stand at 10 meters on that range and film because I'll be out of shot. So not too bad one flyer there, um, I'm counting this because it's breaking the line. I don't care what any of you guys say. And then my second target, which is the one that's supposed to be further at distance. Again, not too bad. This would have probably been, in, been inside this circle. So, again, the more I'm shooting, the more accurate I'm getting. And then the last drill is single-handed manipulations. Five rounds with your left hand, five rounds with your right hand. But there's got to be a stoppage. So... If you have snap caps, I didn't have snap caps on this particular day, so you can't even know where the stoppage is. Um, but it's basically draw, you get a dead man's click, you've got to do a tap rack with only one end and get your round off. So with my right hand, now before I do this guys, I just want to stress, I, I'm really, really bad at shooting with one hand. I've said this in many videos, I hate shooting with one hand, I can't do it, I just suck at it, I don't know, I don't know, I need training, so I don't know. So this was my, my, my target with my right hand, so we got three hits and we got two misses. Yeah. You know, given the amount of time I took to aim, I'm not really happy with that, and then with my left hand. We've got two hits and three miss. Look at that. I, I don't deserve the gift of life, right? And I'm upset about that. Oh, I'm a little annoyed about that, given that the amount of time I took to aim. That is Adrian's uh, list for, for 50 rounds, if you only have 50 rounds on the range. And what I took away from it is the importance of training from a state of not preparedness. What I mean by that is don't get ready. Walk onto the range. And your very first drill should be your most real life drill, which is to overcome from concealment and firing. And that really sets you up for an understanding of, oh, this is actually where I am, right? Those three or four misses I had in the first one is not really acceptable when you consider that when I'm warm, I'm way more accurate, right? And if you think about it, 
Law of averages dictates that most of the time, if I'm ever in a situation that, that requires me to uh, use my fire, it's probably going to be in a state of where I'm cold, in inverted commas. Now, guys, if you want to get some training with Adrian, he is coming to Cape Town. He, work, he meant Global Phalanx and Institution and Global Phalanx basically do training together. They're coming to do a Stop the Bleed and two days of care under fire on the... 11th, 12th and 13th of March. I will be there for at least two of those days. Definitely the Friday and either the Saturday or the Sunday. Please join me. It is an exceptional course. Stop the bleed. Key under fire. Key under fire is basically going to teach you what, what you should do when someone's been wounded and a gunfight is occurring. Your, your, basically your hierarchy of needs, what you need to do, what you need to focus on, when you need to focus on it and how you need to address and then obviously that combined with the stop the bleed sets you up really well. All firearm owners should do a course like this. I'll leave them linked down below if you're watching on YouTube. Um, if you're watching on Facebook, I'll leave Global Phalanx link down below, as well as the contact person um, for who you need to contact to book your place on that course. Please let me see you guys next week. I am training with uh, the guys at Dean and Fundicono on Saturday, the 5th of March. Um, I'm doing the legal lecture or what i'm doing i'm attending a legal lecture where one of South africa's top legal experts explains what you should and shouldn't do after a self-defense shooting situation and then on the sunday a intermediate to advanced pistol course guys there are still places available for that it's i think 800 and 900 and respectively around kind of 240 rounds for the sunday Please let me see you there. I'll leave it also down below. Contact Fundicono at iCloud if you want to make a booking for that. That's the 5th and the 6th. I'm really going to push training this year, guys. Right? The gear reviews are fun. Oh, by the way, people ask what I run. If you don't know already, my EDC setup is a Glock 19 uh, Shofa Exodanted and Alice and, Red, Alice and Red Dot in a um, Southwest Hosters Rattler. I did a review of my EDC Glock, it's also popping up in your screen. I'm really going to push training this year because the gear reviews are cool, they're fun, I enjoy it, and they're going to be done as per usual. But I'm really going to push you guys to get out and train and shoot because I think that is, that is something that us as South Africans really, really, really overlook. We got the cool gear, but we are not using it as we should. And, and the numbers on courses that I've been on concern me. That's it, guys. Thank you to AJ for taking the time, to AGN for taking the time to send me these ideas. Um, I will see him and you guys uh, in about two weeks time, but I will be doing videos before then. Guys, that's it. Have a good week. Be safe. Train hard. Cheers. God bless.